Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 56. It's uh, it's time for the Kebos Lowlands update. I'm right next to Konar, the new Slayer Master. Gonna get an assignment and um, yeah, let's see what we get. Okay, not exactly what I wanted, but there is the global drop table that is on all of the uh, Konar tasks at the moment and it looks ridiculously um, overpowered so who knows I might be getting five magic seed drops I've seen that as a picture like 200 ranars noted um, yeah it'll probably get nerfed so it'd be good to try and get something off these uh, Konar tasks before it does enjoy the episode by the way there we go that's the broken shit I was talking about um, I mean that in itself is not a, a crazy drop um, I mean, it's still like 60k, but people are just getting ridiculous things dropped randomly from the new global drop table that Konar's got. So, yeah, if I get anything really good, I will uh, obviously make a clip of that and show you guys. Need to train smithing? That's okay. Just do a slayer task. Get 265 gold ore. Sorted. I'm not joking. Seriously, I've just got a second gold ore drop. That's, um, that's like 200k's worth. Like, what? What? All right, that is the fourth roll on the special drop table. 13 rune ore. I really need to get a bigger sample size. Obviously, one task isn't going to give a good idea of how often you're supposed to roll on this special table. It probably depends on what creature you're killing as well. And it's very likely that it gets nerfed. But yeah, just for the time being, I'm just amazed that they've put this into the game. Hey, that's a nice drop to see. Another crack in tentacle. Um, so this is... Not my second task. I actually got a task of worms, tried them. I don't think they're worth doing, so I blocked them because they have a weighting of 10 on uh, Konar's um, assignment list. I also got a task of dust devils. Impossible to find a world. I didn't really want to crash people. There's a lot of like lower level people, but it just felt a bit harsh. So I thought there's plenty of other tasks I can be doing. Um, so yeah, Kraken, nice and easy. Get an instance, don't have to worry about other people. And um, yeah, I, I like the drops from Kraken. Coming in with 98 magic. So one level to go obviously until 99. Um, slightly painful having to uh, do this task in the catacombs. One, because it's just burning through my death runes. I'm just gonna have to go and buy a whole bunch of those back and um, missing out on all the lovely seed drops that you get when you kill them in the Slayer Tower as well. All right, got an elite clue to open. Gonna go ahead and drop the master and see what we get. That's pretty nice, actually. 300K. Yeah, decent resources. Not bad. Oh, went um, a little bit too AFK at Rune Dragons and um, missed the Slayer level, which is slightly annoying, but that is 97. Two left to go until 99. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting that. Not in a massive rush, but um, yeah, it will come in the next couple of months, I would have thought. So I've just completed my first farming guild contract. I ended up choosing a hard one because I figured they probably have the best rewards. And um, all I had to do was plant some potato cactus, so it didn't take too long. I'm going to open up the seed box and see what we get. That... That's literally the reason why I did this, to try and get a Celestra seed for the diary. Um, there must be more that you can get in here. Oh, nine sets of seeds. Okay, so we'll just take all these out. All right, so what have we got? Um, some okay herb seeds, limp worts. Um, well, I mean, the Celestra is the best out of that, to be honest, and that is very handy. I'm fairly, sh I'm fairly sure that's what you need to do for the Elite. Yeah, it is. All right, so I get that planted and I might actually start working on getting the rest of the tasks done. Don't know how long that takes to, to grow, probably like a day. Um, nice. And that is 97 defense and a combat level as well, 123. Um, never killed these jellies before, but um, first task given to me of these by Kona, so we'll see what they're like. Oh, that's 200 hard clues. I was trying to figure out if I could remember whether those were uniques or not. Got a feeling the plate legs might be. Yeah, 200 hard's done now. So I'm going to start working on the diary. This is the first of the two quests they released with the update. And then I'll just hop around um, the map and just finish up the rest of the tasks. And then once my 
tree is grown tomorrow I should be able to finish it um, yeah so one quest down and I'll do the other one quickly now and there we go that is the second quest done so uh, time to crack on with the diary tasks so the Celestrus tree has grown um, I'm not too sure how many um, bits of bark you can get from each tree. I know it's a minimum of one, um, but I don't know exactly how much it scales up with the uh, with your farming level. Um, and then I think it's just a case of, um, of fletching them. That should be the diary task. I mean, only six. That's I guess they can't make it too overpowered because it is an alkable resource essentially. But um, there we go. The elite diary is complete. It's going to pick up the rewards. So unfortunately they did remove the um, blood room crafting buff that was supposed to come with the elite diary which I was looking forward to but I guess it was perhaps a little bit too overpowered. Um, I guess the, the best thing from this elite diary now is the um, the removal of the need to wear those boots in the um, new dungeon um, which does basically make the drakes dead content for me I think but um, can't be helped. And then there's the um, blessing, which is an extra plus one prayer bonus on top of um, what a normal blessing would be. And of course, the um, room crafting XP, which should give me a level. There we go, 78. And another perk of completing the elite diary and why I wanted to do it before this layer task is the extra points you get. So I've just completed 600 tasks uh, in a row and 500 points, which is pretty nice. So. Um, yeah, hoping to get the Hydra soon. Um, the Blessing also gives a very nice teleport. Very convenient, right next to the Slay Master. See if we can get anything. No, but it will come soon, I think. Hey, an Abyssal Head! I can't remember how rare they are, but that is really cool to see. And actually, it's quite nice to get them to get that from the regular ones. Um, I never really liked the recolored um, versions that are in the catacombs. I think these are um, much cooler to kill. Um, so yeah, props to Kona for sending me to the Slayer Tower. Um, once I've killed this one, I will um, double check how many I have killed overall and maybe around the drop rate over it or under it, I'm not too sure to be honest. So I've killed just under 5,000 and it's a 1 in 6k drop, so a little bit under the rate there, that's pretty cool. Finally, a Hydra task, and it's a pretty decent one. I don't know what the maximum amount uh, Konar can assign, but 156. I'll do all of that at the boss. I will need to learn it. Um, so I don't think it looks too tricky. I think I should be able to pick it up quite quickly. Um, yeah, looking forward to hopefully getting a unique or two. All right, first kill coming in. Not too clean, used a lot of food, but it's to be expected, I guess. Yeah, fairly average reward for the first one. So I just tried um, farming snake grass for the first time since the update and from two patches I got 81. Um, obviously it's a very small sample size so I don't know if that's accurate if I got lucky, unlucky. Um, but if I could find a steady way of getting the snake grass seeds I would be very happy to incorporate these into my farm runs. Um, just because collecting snake grass otherwise is pretty tedious. Um, I did a little bit of thieving from uh, Master Farmers, didn't get too many of these drops. I did a task of Dagnos, um, admittedly in the lighthouse, didn't get too many seed drops. Perhaps the ones in the catacombs drop more. Um, but if I can, yeah, if anyone knows of a, a good way to get these seeds, um, please do let me know because I'd be very interested in um, trying to farm lots of these because it is helpful for herb lore. There we go, that is the first unique from Hydra, the Hydra's Eye. So that's one of the three pieces needed to put together the ring, I believe. Um, yeah, on 22kc. I don't know what the drop rates are, obviously, but um, pretty happy to get that. And that is 97 ranged at the Hydra boss. So the XP here isn't too bad, actually. Ooh, that's a pretty nice clue. Um, Armadil Dehyde, I definitely don't have that. Don't think I have the Kite Shield either. Um, definitely got enough of those Master Scroll books though. 55 kills, Hydra's Claw, Dragon Hunter Lance, let's go. Oh my god, I can't believe the luck. I really don't think this can be that rare, considering how many people have managed to uh, manage to get it in the past couple of days. Let's go make this bad boy. Alright, so as far as I'm aware, I just need to put this onto the Zami Hasta, and that will create the Dragon Hunter Lance. Oh my god, look at that. That looks amazing. 
This is actually really good because this means I can try Vorkath for my blue dragon tasks or even off task now. Um, I was waiting to get the dragon hunter crossbow but I think this is only slightly worse than that. So that would be really good. And just yeah like rune dragons, um, anything else like eventually when I go for um, prayer training experience from green dragons whatever this will be handy. And for um, Ulm as well at raids I think this is pretty good so um, yeah. 55 kills, two uniques, cannot complain. Well guys, unfortunately that is it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I really, really enjoyed the Kevos Lowlands update and there's still plenty more um, content from it to come in the next few episodes. I've got 100 Hydras left on Tar, so I'll continue killing the boss in the hopes of finishing the ring and also getting the leather for the Ferocious Gloves. Um, I've also been doing a lot more farming now um, and trying to complete some of the farming contracts so that I can get some more of the unique seeds, um, snake grass, the Hespori, which I've actually got one um, growing at the moment, which will be interesting to see for the next episode. And um, yeah, just continuing on with those goals for 2019. Um, thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you in the next episode. Take care.